arrow making and just to remind you when using these beautiful hooks that David carves. Always work with the left hook facing away from you and then the right hook, because I'm knitting, the hook faces toward me and pulls the stitch off. No twisting of wrists, no strain on the wrists. If I was doing purl, I would turn that hook the other way so that the stitch is pulled off by the hook in the purl action. So this is a lopy style yarn that I'm using. Lopy style because the true Icelandic lopy is actually roving and has no twist in it. This one has a very, very, very slight twist. It's a painstaking process if you're doing it at the spinning wheel. And it's very fluffy, so you it would pill. You wouldn't want to knit a sweater or anything like that because it will pill. But as this is a throw, we want it as soft and snugly as possible. And uh, this, this pattern is very easy. You see it's just stocking stitch, 34 stitches, or perhaps 38 stitches, 54 rows. I will put a fringe on it. The fringe I will cut in strands of 18 inches long and that creates a double and two of those so it would be four strands 9 inches long all the way along there in total it takes 308 yards of this jumbo weight if you were using a, a finer yarn you would double it or quadruple, whatever, depend to get that thickness. But for these hooks, which are size 50, and this is a 22 inch hook. It's an 18. 18 inch <laughs> thank you. <laughs> the other project has a 22 inch hook. And uh, this is just long enough to go on here. We have stoppers normally in the end here, but we also create a circular hook, which if you wanted to do something much wider, makes, makes the work easier. So I'll do a, a pearl row just to show you. Remember the left hook always faces away from you. Let it do the work, don't let your wrist do the work. Because I'm purling, I will have the right foot hook also facing away. And you see I simply put it in and let the hook pull the yarn through the stitch and off. There's no resection whatsoever. And these, these hooks are created from Canadian maple, handcrafted by David, with love, every single one. They have some beautiful grains, which you can't see because it's covered up by the yarn. And I'd just like to mention that we are in our new property in Chase, and thank you to absolutely everybody who helped us relocate the Lama Sanctuary to this beautiful property. We thank you, love you, and bless you all.